storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Oh, this couple here, I already told y'all a couple of dummies is how I look at them. And ever since I said that, they seem to keep proving me right again and again and again. Erica Mena and Safari. Huh, on last night's episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, okay, um, episode's going viral, let's just talk about it. So, Safari and Erica, they have a little dinner outside, Erica throws them like a welcome home, feel like you in Jamaica, I don't know, it really didn't make sense. The same damn dinner scene we've seen on every reality show again and again and again, as if the producers did not set this shit up. Basically, she had something to tell her husband. The producer said, let's make it a little dinner or a little dinner party and put the cameras by the pool. And here you go. Now, with that being said, Erica then shows Safari a video of a sonogram and it's of their baby. That well, baby's been born now, but it's of their baby. And Safari looks at it right with that stank ass look on his face. All right. Childish ass look on his face. And says, oh, so you pregnant in disappointment. And then he goes on to ask Erica, well, how many weeks are you? And she says, I'm 23 weeks. Now, that's where I had to pause. At the pause, at the stop. Because I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Number one. I feel like they faking shit for the cameras. I told y'all that, but we're going to pretend this part is real. Play the game. Number one. The only reason why the first thing out of a man's mouth is how many weeks are you is if, number one, he does not think the baby is his, or number two, he wanted her to get an abortion. So I believe that when she presented this sonogram to him, he was already planning an abortion in his head. That's just how I feel. That's my opinion. Because that ain't what you say. But he told her from the beginning he wasn't going to be happy with no new baby. But he should have got that dick snipped a long time ago. Men that truly don't want to have no more kids go get a vasectomy. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. So I really get tired of men being out here acting like they so sad when they knock a woman up. If they And they've used no protection and have not gotten a vasectomy as if they don't know how biology works. And she didn't have that baby by herself. Just saying. So. Skip past that, Erica says, I'm 23 weeks. How in the hell is a couple in the house with one another for damn near six months and that man does not at least suspect that Erica is pregnant? Was there no morning sickness? Was there no mood swings? Or are you telling me that Erica is such a bitch that even her being pregnant didn't change her hormones that much because she's that high strung? I'm not even believing that. You ain't got to be no fan of Erica, but this is messed up if this is real life. How did two people in a marriage, how did she hide a pregnancy for 23 weeks? And that's when I said, Mona, you're going to have to come better with these storylines. This may be partially true, but ain't no way they went almost six months and didn't know. Do y'all believe that? Y'all let me know. Do y'all believe that? I want y'all to be honest. We're going to pretend. Can you be pregnant for 23 weeks and your man not know? Now, listen to what she said. Maybe she messed up in her script. She said, I just found out. So now, not only is she saying, well, he didn't know she was pregnant or suspected. She didn't know she was pregnant for almost six months. Do y'all believe that? Because listen what she said. I just found out. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Come with another storyline. That part of the script, y'all should have X that out. No, ma'am. I believe his reaction is genuinely real because he didn't want the baby. I believe and he's childish and he trash and he all that. I believe all that part. But I don't believe you carried the baby for damn near six months and that man didn't know. Nope. As skinny as she is, they knew. Thank you. Thank you. They both lying. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to need y'all to come with a better storyline because we listen over here. We got ears that work. We got ears that work. All right. And eyes that see. Now, with that being said, do Erica deserve to be treated like this? No. Does she deserve the stress that Safari has put her through? Absolutely not. But I am going to say this. This is why when you get with a man, 
I was about to say the N-word, but I call myself. That's why when you get with a man, you do not throw shade at his ex because you don't know the trials and tribulations they went through together. You don't know what Nikki had to deal with. You got with him and you started shading Nikki. We ain't forgot about them comments from back in the day. Now, Safari is trash and still a kid. And I got a question. Is Safari like the only child or like the only boy in a family? He just, he gives me mama's boy or the only boy he gives me like you know how every family got that one child even as an adult they still be big ass kids because they were always catered to they was never in a wrong never properly disciplined that's what he gives me because ain't no way he grew up around no real men and he was carrying Nikki's bags for 15 years i'm not believing that he laid pipe but that was it because Nikki said that's all he was good for was laying pipe but how many hours of the day can you screw he probably got Erica the same way. Lay good pipe. Okay. Now what? I'm just saying. So, to put it back, this is why you don't shave the ex. Because he ain't going to, the men are never going to, men and or women are never going to tell you the true story of why they broke up tonight. They always going to say, my ex did this, my ex did that. No, what y'all need to start asking is, what did you do to make him or her react that way start asking questions like that and then you'll start understanding a little bit more and last but not least etica we ain't forgot about that ig page that you've been stalking since santana on for years that your ass forgot you spew so much hatred and you turned it into your baby's ig page and your ass ain't addressed it since i'm gonna need you to come on live and address it we did not forget it we're not gonna forget it and we're not gonna let it go uh, it's storm show it's a storm show.